Civic Media Startup. So if you're interested in, uh, in both uh, entrepreneurship and media in particular, uh, media that makes a difference, like kind of what side of the that's kind of what I'm focusing on. Uh, my last home uh, was Boulder, technically Broomfield, but it's the Boulder uh, uh, metro area. And my startup is called Book Brewer. And actually, I should say, I have a startup. It's no longer a Boulder startup, it's a Syracuse startup. I need a, a good uh, recommendation for a lawyer, so I can put it here. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> so, what really put Boulder on the map as a startup mecca was this company, or this organization called Techstars, which was started by David Fountain and uh, Brad Feld. And, uh, should mention, I've kind of moved in and out of the Boulder area to my career. I, I, uh, it was actually, uh, my, my parents met there. Uh, I grew up in the, the Front Range area. I left the East Coast and went back. When I went back in 2004, Boulder didn't really have that kind of a, of a reputation. It was really more focused on, at least in terms of the tech stage, it was really kind of defense companies. There's a little bit of uh, natural food. Uh, the type of companies we were in Celeste and things that started there. Yeah. Um, the tech scene was really just kind of getting started. And uh, the tech stars really began that. Um, it's a tech accelerator program similar to Start Fast, which is actually part of the tech stars network, right? Uh, and, uh, but what's happened over the, over the years, and I actually saw this happen right, right underneath my feet, is that what began in Boulder just spread throughout the entire front range of Colorado uh, so that the community really started to develop of, of people just like you who had ideas and then began to connect with each other and they are really what make the, uh, the, the Boulder Tech or Colorado Tech scene work. Um, so uh, what's interesting to, to, to know is what you may read a lot about tech stars, the vast majority of startups in Boulder have no uh, connection to tech stars. Tech stars is kind of like the Harvard and Yale of, of technology accelerators. And, and it offers a lot of really great examples, and it, it's a catalyst for the tech community there. But uh, it's not really what is what is driving and sustaining the startup scene. Um, what's happening is the entrepreneurs are good. So, uh, and, I, and this is something that um, when I, I, I was kind of so, uh, I, I basically got jealous being in the, uh, uh, seeing all these, uh, these tech communities start up in the Boulder area. But I started, I started uh, noticing certain events uh, kind of take off. One of them was uh, Ignite. We're on fire uh, Ignite Boulder, a uh, great event where people were just presenting all kinds of uh, different ideas. Another uh, TEDx startup. But really, there's something called the Boulder Denver New Tech Meetup, which has just grown exponentially year after year. And that, if you look at this map back here in the front range, it's the meetups that started in Boulder, they then moved to Denver, then to Fort Collins and Colorado Springs. And whenever you go to any of these meetups, you start to see this common thread of similar people that you may have seen elsewhere uh, in, in other events. Um, but no one is really, uh, the, the meetup is completely organized by the entrepreneurs themselves, just like this event is a student run event, which I think is excellent, right? But the, the students put it on, uh, and, uh, and there's, there's space available, but it's not anybody from, you know, from organizations making it happen. Um, so a book I, I recommend uh, reading, it's available as a new book, is uh, the previous speaker mentioned Brad Feld. Uh, he he uh, wrote a book about this called Startup Communities. And I'm just going to uh, show it, kind of put the summary of some of the ideas in there. Uh, basically what, what he says is that entrepreneurs are, need to leave, uh, need, need to leave uh, the, uh, the entrepreneurial movement within the city. Uh, and, but what I read here is says the most critical principle of startup communities is entrepreneurs must lead it. Unless, entre unless entrepreneurs lead, the startup community will not be sustainable over time. That's absolutely true. Um, uh, another person involved in the, the tech scene in Boulder is actually out in, um, I believe, Idaho. Uh, Mark Sullen, I went to all benches, he said, uh, this is actually from his book, Boulder caught fire because a few dozen entrepreneurs believe in their hearts that a rising tide can solve boats. They drive great pleasure from making it happen. This is not all just, uh, talking nice about entrepreneurs, you really saw this happening from, from the ground up there. Um, so this is what uh, Brad, Brad Bell calls his Boulder thesis of how to make an entrepreneurial community. Uh, number one, as we mentioned, entrepreneurs themselves have to be the leaders, which is really hard when you're trying to run your company and then feed your family and go to school, but that is what keeps it going. Uh, number two, having a long-term long commitment to that community itself. You know, ideally, if you're, if you're 
you know, that's keeping your company there and not leaving, although it is possible to have a connection with the city even if you leave. Um, he says you need to do it for 20, have a 20 year horizon. Uh, number three, be inclusive of everybody who wants to participate, right? This is actually, uh, I think, the, the most important point. Because to have a real community, who wants to be part of the community when you feel like you're not welcome? Um, so, you, you, know, you, you take a look even at this, uh, this Northside project, which I love, by the way, is the Northside Up, what they're doing there. Um, you know, there, there are uh, new people, new types of people coming in all the time. And if you look at, you know, historically through the, the history of this country, it's always been these new influxes of people that drive uh, change and innovation. So you have to be incredibly open. Uh, finally, um, having lots of, of activities, you know, uh, uh, meetups like this, uh, pitch events, uh, all kinds of things like that, that engage what he calls the entire entrepreneurial stack. It's kind of interesting. It's just, it makes it sound like we're all software. Um, and this is actually uh, something that, that kind of, some people feel insulted by this, but uh, he, he says, anyone who's not a leader, in other words, an entrepreneur, is a feeder into the community, right? So that includes things like tax cars. Foundry Institute is another accelerator program. I actually went through that myself. Uh, but lawyers, investors, universities, universities, accelerators, we're feeders into the community, but we are not uh, in charge of the community. If you ever have somebody come to you and say, oh, well, you know, our entrepreneurs that we produce, blah, 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 that's usually a bad sign for that community. It means that it's not authentic and, and coming from the ground up. So who's in charge? Uh, nobody and everybody. It's really like, uh, like the internet. It's, this diagram is actually uh, the diagram of the internet in 1995. So you look at, uh, uh, you know, there's entrepreneurs, a lot of them in the whole area, they're still in college, a lot of them are moonlighting while they're working on, on, uh, on their startups. And that was definitely, uh, in my case, I was uh, working at a company, I was actually telecommuting and uh, creating my startup uh, just uh, out of my basement. And I, uh, at first I felt funny about it, and I realized I was actually pretty normal. Um, universities, there are a whole bunch of them, not just the University of Colorado, there's UCCS, there's CSU, you can see in that whole front range area, um, this is full of them. And what happens is the universities open up their, uh, their facilities for entrepreneurs to use. Um, because you know, entrepreneurs need spaces to, to, to get together. So that's one of the things. BC uh, firms, a um, uh, little known uh, fact is that while Boulder is a hotbed for investment in startups, most of these VC firms are not there in Boulder, in Colorado, and uh, uh, a lot of them are from a lot of different places. And then the drawing public, the fans, is always important. Um, so a question to ask here is like, who are the who are the feeders into this the community series? Obviously, the university, the Tech Garden is, is definitely uh, fits into the, that. Uh, Center State's CEO. Really, I'm kind of new here. I started in August. Every time I turn around, I see there's another organization. That's, uh, that is uh, kind of feeding into the entrepreneurial uh, community. And I think as long as they see themselves that way as a feeder and an enabler of powers and not in control of the entrepreneurial community, it's going to be authentic. Uh, but it's really you. So, how, you know, what, what can you do as an entrepreneur? I've got three things to do your home. One, just start something. Right? And remember, ideas alone don't matter, it's execution. People can execute it. So whether it's just starting up a blog, or if it has some coding skills, you know, just create something, put it out there, uh, try it, don't be 